glory of God. That means every one of us. The Bible says there is none righteous, not one. We have all turned aside. We have all become a prophet. There is none who seeks after God. Does sin separate you from a holy God, friends? And what is what is the wages of sin? The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. John, Romans 6.23. Romans 6.23. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. I can show you, man. Let me show you. should believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He who believes on the Son has life, but he who believes not the Son does not have life. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And that's the condemnation. That light is coming to the world. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. What are evil deeds? Fornication. Sex outside of marriage. How many of you guys masturbate? Uh, look at their torn. Smoke pot. Drink beer. Friends, that's going to cash in. That's going to throw you right into the, right into the pit of hell. God is a holy and just judge, and he must judge righteously. Friends, but there is a way out. There is a way to be pardoned of your sins. And it comes by having faith in what Jesus Christ finished on the cross for you and for me. It's not about religious works. Your religious works will never earn you righteousness with God. Because the law shows us our need for a savior. The law is a schoolmaster. Nobody can be made righteous by trying to keep the law, friends. Jesus Christ kept the law perfectly. He becomes our righteousness when we put our faith in him. So God earned the way into heaven by taking your Eucharist every Sunday. Mohammed did not die for you. Mary of the Bible, Mary of the Catholic Church did not die for you. That's right, the one that many Catholics pray to, Mary. The biblical Mary is not the Mary of the Catholic Church. You can't pray to her. It's forbidden to pray to dead saints. It's forbidden to have contact with the dead in the Bible. Why you gotta treat those berries? There's only one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. There is no other name given under heaven amongst men by which we must be saved. Come to the Lord. Repent and believe in the gospel. Jesus said, the time is fulfilled. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. How does this come? This is how it comes. Faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. For by grace you are saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Not of works, lest any man should boast. So friends, your sins have cut you off from God. You know, if you die today, where you're going to wind up. There is a place called hell, and Jesus spoke much on hell in the Gospels. He called it the place of weeping, wailing, and gnashing of teeth, where the fire is not quenched. He called it out of darkness. It's a horrible place, and it never ends. And that is a punishment for sin. God is not being harsh because He is a God of love. He must punish sinners. He must punish sin. That's right. But there's love was shown at the cross for you. That Jesus for the sin of the world. Those who come to him by faith will receive forgiveness. Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. Put your hope and trust in what Jesus did. Surrender your lives to God. Come to him. Thank the Lord to forgive you. Come to Christ and you will be saved. Call on the name of the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. Repent, friends, repent, and put your hope and trust in Jesus Christ. Turn from your sins. Friends, is only today. We're not guaranteed tomorrow. Every day is a precious gift to God. Tell you not that the unrighteous 
someone here to clean your gun. Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor adulterers, nor feminine, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Friends, you've got to turn from your sins if you want to see eternal life. God commands all men everywhere to repent. Repent, friends, today is your day. Today is the day of salvation. Now is the accepted time. Put your faith and trust in Christ. Turn from your sins. You doing all right? You like my hat? See, that's the third commandment, son. You broke, you took God's name in vain. He will not hold you guiltless. Oh, what, by saying, oh, Jesus? Yes. We were going to, you do as a poor guesser. We were going to make a preaching Jesus, I mean, yeah, an anti-preaching Jesus 777 kid. What is the, you guys, you guys, what's the penalty yeah. for breaking one of God's commands? You understand what the law was given for? This is if you break the law and you got to go to court and stand before like a judge and say, well, judge, I gave you charity. I was based on a good person. He ain't going to look at that. He's going to look at the crime you committed. Friends, God is holy and just. And if you're a liar, he will cast you into the lake of fire. If you lied once, if you lied once, you're not going to go to jail. He goes, yeah, you're behind bars, right? You have to believe his heirs, but you grieve it. You'll see it. He's not willing that you should perish, but that you come to Christ. God created the heavens and earth. God created all things. Come to Christ. It was good. I found him family, the but you know, the good thing is I come here to warn you guys. We'll see you go to hell, man. Says, what is the profit of man? If you gain the whole world, the Lamb of God. Jesus, the Lamb. The Lamb of God. No, Jesus God. No, Christ, Christ, Christ took my sins away. What? Oh, we're a good band. It's a band called Lamb of God. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. See, see, Christ died on the cross to set us free of our sins. I have this picture on my computer. Yeah. It's um, Jesus breaking out the cross, and he says, I'm out of here. Trust what are you talking the about? My back Do you think Why? that a Jew can become a Christian? Because there's this guy named Mac Miller, and he smokes a lot of marijuana, but he still raps about Jesus, but he's Jewish. So you can be a Jew for Christ, man. And Jesus can set you free. You don't want to smoke marijuana. You don't want to sex outside of marriage. Jesus, well, Jesus was a Jew. Jesus what? was a Jew. That's the right. And he came, he came the to the Gentiles to save them. Jesus he came to save what you love. The truth the 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 May God bless you with repentance. God is so holy. God is so holy. We can never stand in the presence of God. Because God is so holy. Because we all broke the laws of a holy God. People lying. People stealing. Masturbating. People dressing on modest. Gluttony overeating. People smoking pot.
Homosexuality is against us. We challenge you guys to a snowball fight. You guys down? We're out here to reach out to you because we love you. Right. To reach out. And we want to see you get saved from the wrath of God. We don't want you going to hell. We love you. We don't want to see you perish in hell. We have Christ been changing our ways. We think more like God. God's changes when we Young ladies, what will happen to you if you die today? We Do you know? We come here to love you, to warn you. We don't want what, to What's going to happen here? Come here. Come here. We saw you guys listening. But you seem to be pretty intent on listening. listening. Do you know what happened if you really, if, if today were your last day on earth, do you know where you'd wind up? Yes. Where? How? Because Jesus I Christ! That isn't what saves you. Well, if you know, then why do you say it? That doesn't save you. Going to church doesn't save you. That's not enough. You can't do enough things for God to save you. You see, the Bible tells us that our works don't save us. Our, our, our works, our righteousness, is filthy rags before God. That's how we see it, because that don't change. You can't make up for what's in your heart. Your heart is deceitful and desperately wicked, the Bible says. Who can know it? God has to change your heart from the inside out. Jesus can only do that when you trust in Him by faith. And how does that happen? It sounds like people think they have to earn it. I mean, that's by human nature. That's how we, we try to do things meritously. Well, if I do this, I do this. And God's got to give me life. But that's not how it works. Jesus already did the work for you on the cross. So the, when they asked Jesus this, they said, when, 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 he, when Jesus said, Right? When, G when they asked Jesus, they said, what must we do to work the works of God? Jesus answered them and said, this is the work of God, that you believe on the one whom he sent. See, faith is a gift of God that he gives to you, supernaturally by faith. You believe that Jesus is the very image of God come in the flesh. You know, he was the Son of God. He is God in the flesh. And when you call on his name and put your trust in him and turn from your sin, you will be saved. And he will give you a new heart. He says, I'll take that heart of stone out of you. I'll give you a new heart of flesh. I'll put a new spirit within you. And you will be able to love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. And you'll start hating sin. Like the things you're doing now. I mean, have you lied? Have you ever lied before in your life? You have? What does that make you? Right. I deserve hell. Right. It's not right. But you've done it though, right? Okay. Now. Now, time doesn't... Time doesn't take away that sin. I mean, you know, we think like, you know, people are, I'm not Hitler, I'm not a mass murderer. You know, that hell is for those kind of people. But God's holy law, the Ten Commandments, you're familiar with them, right? You know, you know you can't be made righteous by trying to keep them, the Bible says. The law is, brings a curse. Because if, you, if, you try to, if you're trying to live righteously by the law, it says, no flesh will be justified by the deeds of the law. It's faith that saves us. It's to show us our, it's, our, it's to turn us to Christ, to bring us to Christ. So we can put our faith in Him. When we say to Christ, Lord, be merciful and be a sinner. When the publican beat on his chest and said, Lord, be merciful and be a sinner. The Lord said to me, be merciful, be merciful to me a sinner. And that man went down to his house justified because he saw himself as a miserable sinner. He sinned before the Holy God. Listen, no no amount no of no amount of no amount of no amount of good works are gonna help you on that day. It's if you need you need to call on the name of the Lord. How does this happen? Jesus says you must be born again. How does one become born again? Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. The words that say you. If you call on the name of the Lord, you will be saved. Be willing to turn from everything that God hates. Good afternoon, for family students. He paid for your sins if you put your trust in him. He died for the sin of the world. Yeah, are you, are you, do, you, do, you, do, you do you do you do do you trust them enough to turn from your sins? Right. So believe in evolution, you have to say life. That's a good question. Right? And all we are three mortal souls. Yeah, you got this. Yeah, you got this. Is rape wrong? No, yeah, rape is actually very wrong. Rape is wrong.
rape is nobody's fault. Love you, brother, man. It's, it's, good brother, man. It, it, it's not rape unless you like it, good though. Good brother, Pat. I'm sure the person who's doing this. Yeah, no, 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 no. But the person who's doing it, it's not rape unless the other person likes it. If you were born again, you could preach about that hellfire. Well, you're not born again yet, man. We want you to have what we have. We want. We have the good news, man. Don't you care about your soul, man? Survival of the fittest. Don't any of you care about your soul? Cry out to God day and night till He rescues you. Come! You know it's soul. You know why? Yeah, Luke 8, was it 18, 18, It doesn't always come, like, immediately. No, don't. No, keep crying out to him day and night till he answers your prayer, man. Just like the unjust judge. King David cried out, Psalms 88, 1, man. He cried out. Let's go, let's go. So he heard his prayer. That's unholy. That's unholy. A bunch of men on one man. That's Get that on camera. Get that. That Zoom in. Man. Zoom in. That's homosexual at its finest. Get it in. Homosexuality at its finest. Uh, Further than my high school. Get it. Get it. You need to get saved. You want to get saved, man? You, you need, need to cry out to God day you and night. Need to get Ask saved. God to say, say, God, humble me. Humble me. Break my heart, Lord. Break my will. I was will. baptized and everything, That bro. don't do nothing, man. Sound, man. You know why I stopped going to church, honestly? You got one too, by the way? God bless you. You know if you're going to heaven if you die? I would stop going to the Catholic I, I church, too, man. Oh, dude? No, I didn't go to Catholic. Yeah. So what are you telling me? You think you're going to be saved from the wrath of God? I have to. know the doctrine. Yeah, yeah. Cry, out, cry out to God day, day and night, asking Him to crush your will. Only God can save you. Salvation is the Lord. You got one too, guys? You got one here for me? I can't do myself. Oh, you did? I'm sorry. The way I see it, God should accept me. You got one, boss? I know, but I don't have to live life like that. I live life. How you doing? You going to heaven if you die? You going to heaven if you die? What? Do you care about your soul? Nope. Why don't you care about your soul? Your soul is so precious, man. Nobody knows the day or the hour. If you, if you died right now, would you go to heaven? Yeah, if, he, if, he, if he's wrong about that, I'd probably go to hell. This guy is hell. Why do you want to go to hell, man? It is a full problem. The mind is really a bunch of lazy people who got tired. I used to pray a lot and nothing would never help me. You need to cry. What, is it selfishness? It's about what you want? Or, or is it you cry out to God to save you? Cry out to God day and night till he saves you. No, no, come over here. Ask God to break your will. It's up for you to read, man. Cry out to him, man. Keep crying out to God. Once you get saved, man. You doing, man? You get gospel shot? Men would be lovers. You good enough to go to heaven? Wait, so homosexuals will come when the world's over? Well, it's the last stages of society. Well, Luke 17 said it'd be a days a lot, but that don't mean it's all about. I mean, it has a part of it. But it is. I mean, it's all. It's all part of a system. But I personally think that abortion. You see all the laws being passed, hate crime laws to protect them and for their sin. You know? so they don't. They don't. It's wrong, man. God hates those who shed innocent blood. What if? Uh, and Jeremiah said there was innocent the blood of a soul in a lady's thigh. What if it's a victim of rape? It's still wrong. The lady needs to learn how to trust God. I know it's hard. It's hard for a woman. I'm not a woman with emotions, but it's hard. It's hard, man. It's difficult. I know. But there's ladies that had the baby. Tell a woman who was raped that she can't have an abortion. It's hard, man. I tell you, it'd be hard for the lady, but she needs to trust the Lord. Well, technically, when does the I understand what was done to the lady is wrong. I understand that a guy should have justice, yes. You know, I know her emotions are going to be kicking, but she needs to cry out to God and say, Lord, I know I didn't want this, but Lord, help me. No, no, no. I'm talking to him because he's saying that. Yeah, I mentioned abortion too, but no, but, we need to, no, but he's we're, said, we're interviewing them on uh, hey, son, why would, why would you, why should we kill the baby? One of the worst people in history that would be. I thought that he is a very interesting person, actually. Well, he is but interesting. But he, I, I don't interesting, agree. interesting in the way that. But, but you know what he's done. He's wicked. He's part of bones and skulls and everything, man. Think about it. He even got a little fake mustache person. there, man. But if you look at if you look at what he did, he was a great leader. No, for, for great leader, so and leading people to hell. Oh, but listen to this. I killing asked people, the guy innocent asked Jews. I asked the guy. That's a leader. Killing Jews. That's no, a leader. I'm saying, Hitler. If you can move That's a wicked. crowd. That he, just needed, he just needed somebody. You must to have something. You know something. Good point. Because Satan is moving a big crowd through the white gate of destruction into the lake of fire. And Jesus is leading a few. Saying, what he did was good. So those kids over there, you know the seven levels of hell? Which level do you think they're going to? I think they would be going to heresy and stuff. This not biblically saying there's seven levels of hell. 
Uh, so how many levels number. are there? It says there's a. Na- it says purgatory? that teachers. It's purgatory. No, there is no, there's no purgatory. There's no purgatory. The then book is the no. There's greater condemnation for people. Because you need to read the scriptures. And James. For yourself. And James says teachers read will face greater condemnation because See, they're lying to kids. I only read, I only read the book of Genesis, the first part of the Bible that yeah. says, um, "Let there be light," and stuff like that. Whatever the hell it is. So, so how do you know if you're going to heaven? What, what, Pers- you, personally, I'm, I'm not into like speaking about this, but I, I'm an atheist and I don't believe in heaven or hell. I don't believe that there can be. Like, uh, if there's no God, if there's no devil. So Alright, what, like what, if, what if? What if? What if one day you believe? Do you think you're going to heaven? No. Why? I personally believe that Why? when you die, well, because the, the stuff that I've done in my lifetime now, from being born to my 15 years of life, that automatically buys me into hell. But oh, sure if, I, if I decide, At least you're honest. if I decide to make up for my sins and deliver my life to God, then how do you do that? How do you make up for your sins? How about harassment? Go to church. Is harassment a sin? You got to give your life up to Jesus and stuff. But if you got to do how do you do that? How do you give yourself up to the Lord? You got to find. You got to finally realize that there's a greater power. Savior. You already know God is real. But the thing is that your heart's getting hard, and one day it's going to get so hard you'd be like Pharaoh, and God would just cast you off into hell. He'll give you strong delusions, or you repent and realize you broke the laws of God. You cry out, cry out to God day and night, and repent and call his name, the son, and no, believe really. that he rose from the dead. I read something once that... I have a called. question, though. So so if, 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 oh, I was, ta- I was no, having a conversation if, with this man If God right is now. really Sorry. real, if God is really real, and he's all-knowing and all-powerful and can he do sure anything is. that he wants, yeah. then why is there war? Why is there famine? Why is there rape and all that stuff? Because the fall of man. Because he gives... He, we, the fall of man. We have a will to sin all we want, but we have no will to choose God. God has to choose us. You know, he's convicting your heart right now. I advise you to go home and cry out to him day and night till he saves you. Actually, when I go home, I have a Uber date with this girl. How do we know if he's saving us or not? How do you know? You know, man. You ain't gonna like your sin no more if you know you're getting saved. You're gonna hate it. You're gonna hate it with a compassion. You consider marijuana a sin? Yeah. I get stoned, bro. Get alcohol. I, I, herb. I, I, there, there's, there's some grass and dirt. Why don't you put in your salad? Have a nice organic salad. It's alcohol, organic dirt here. I don't drink alcohol. It's disgusting. Alcohol is very disgusting. Alcohol is but disgusting. I don't understand why they say Jesus drank wine. He didn't say he got drunk. And there's, there's controversy. Was there even alcohol in it? Most likely. First of all, Jesus couldn't be drunk because he couldn't die for a sin. It just says no drunker would enter the kingdom of God. Right? But if you were a drunkard and then you were saved? Then can you answer? Yeah, once you're saved, God will forgive you of all your but sins why from is east to west. Seen as a sin if it's, it's not sorcery. Man-made. It's sorcery, man. It's witchcraft. So it's <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so it's somebody it eating. Is too, but you don't take a bath in it. Wait, I know, right? That would give you a nasty rash what? if you took a bath in poison ivy. Gross too. Why? Yeah. But you don't take a bath in it. Yeah, yeah but that's because you don't choose to. But I mean, if someone had a poison ivy fetish, they would. <laughs> I mean, come on. Yeah. It's, 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 I mean, like, it's it's will. Like, if God put that, if God put that plant on the earth, just as He put poison ivy here. You have the will to choose which plant you prefer more. I mean, poison ivy poison serves ivy a purpose. It causes poison. Just like Satan Just like is mar- poison. Just like marijuana serves a pers- purpose. It enlightens it you. Down down can- how about for medical? How do you know it's a beautiful plant to look at? How do you see it for medical? If you actually look at it, it's actually kind of nice looking. I would like, I would like to have that. See, the thing is that you guys love pleasure, man. It's not for, but it dilutes the, the mind. It dilutes the mind. For the, for the medicinal purposes. Do you see it as a sin using it for medicinal purposes? Yeah, there's a lot of other things. But for cancer patients who have no appetite, who are close to dying, or people with terminal illnesses who have no, like, quality of life anymore. They want This all comes down to needing to put their trust in the world. But do you have quality of your life if you Lord die? You what about quality of your life? Where you go when you die? My dad was going through chemo. I mean, if, if medical marijuana was around in the 90s when he had chemo and stuff, I'm pretty sure that he'd still be eating and he'd still be healthy because now he's not as healthy as he would be if he was A lot of people are, who are getting these marijuana stuff is just doing it to smoke it. They ain't doing it for medical. A lot of people are just doing it to get high. I'm doing it to get high. You know? Yeah, at least you're honest. I do it for recreational purposes. You know, I'm a, I'm a marijuana I'm enthusiast, sick. but you know. I don't go around saying that marijuana is shit. Well, yes, I do go around saying that marijuana is shit, but um, that's Most, a different story. But we know, forget about the marijuana. I think it be, what about your souls? Don't you care about it? But it has nothing to do with my yes, soul. Yes, it does. You're going to go Isn't to hell so unless you Bible repent. That, that describes a, a repent or perish. There's or, a whole religion based off of marijuana and God. Religion ain't off Jesus Christ. There has to be. There's a. There's a what, Wickham? There Wickham? The Bible that talks about healing. What plant is that? No. Marijuana. You can't tell me it's opium. What? You can't tell me it's opium. Because, I mean. <laughs> Shoot up some opium, come on. Oh man, you need, you, you need to be filled with the spirit of God and not be drunk with wine.